Imagine a world where sports had no free agency, where players had to play for the teams they were drafted to, and had no choice if they wanted to play pro sports. Today, that seems very strange, but until 1976, all sports had this, and baseball changed the sports world, having the first free agency. Let's find out the story behind this iconic event. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a quick, deep dive every day into sports history. In sports, there's one thing that is very common today, but is something that is very strange in the past, and that is free agency. The concept where players can change teams when their contract is up. For many years, in all professional sports, this was unheard of. But baseball was about to change the game. In the winter of 1976, the baseball was gearing up for their winter meetings, which is where all the owners meet up to decide changes they might like to make to the game. And free agency had become the top of their list. But the true impact we must rewind to see when players could shop their services to the best teams. In 1975, a landmark ruling by Peter Stites would change everything. He declared veteran pitcher Andy Messersmith and Dave McNally free agencies after playing without signed contracts. Panic swept through Major League Baseball owners, and they envisioned chaos on the horizon. Enter Marvin Miller, head of the Players Association. His negotiation prowess birthed the concept of six-year free agency. Few players would enter the market each winter, driving demand and higher salaries. In 1976, a re-entry draft system was born. Teams would draft the bargain rights to bid on players, creating a whirlwind activity. Players like Reggie Jackson, Raleigh Fingers, and Gene Tenace headlined the list of sought-after free agents. The world champion Reds, however, chose a different path, emphasizing player development over bidding wars. Yet not all players found takers in the draft. Names like Willie McCovey, Dick Allen, and Nate Colbert were left without teams. Some, like Allen, signed bargain deals, while others chose to retire. Unlike today's drawn-out signings, the winter of 76 saw quick action. Players like Bill Campbell signed multi-million dollar contracts within days, sending shockwaves through the league. A's owner Charlie Finley lost eight players to free agency as he chose not to spend. He predicted owners' recklessness would bankrupt them. But by 1980, he'd had enough and left the game. The tale of Wayne Garland stands out, leaving the Oilers for the Indians. With a big contract, he soon faced a career-ending injury Amidst the mix of successes and failures, one name shone bright. Reggie Jackson became the center of a bidding war between the Expos and the Yankees. New York spotlight won out, and Jackson's five-year, $3 million deal proved worth every penny. Meanwhile, the Angels made an aggressive move, reeling in three major free agents. But... Their expected success in the American League West turned into a flop. The reverberations of that first free agency class in 1976 were felt throughout the sport and forever changed the landscape of the baseball winter. And now, 40 years later, free agency continues to stoke the flames. Baseball during the cold winter months, igniting passions in fans and players alike. It has bled over 
happen to all other major sports as well. Thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. If you like this, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Daily Sports His. We'd love to hear from you. We post pictures of today's story. So check it out and come back tomorrow for more sports history.